Hi guys and welcome to the Crazy Vape Show number 12 Number, don't give me 12 Two seconds to mute YouTube Two seconds to mute YouTube So then they got an echo Because <laughs> that's not very nice on me Alright, so we have Zor in with us tonight It yeah. should have been Wendy Vapes But we can't get a hold of her so we got a standby in. Um, yeah. It may not look like her. It may not act like her. <laughs> but at least we've got a guest. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sober. And I'm sober. <laughs> and I'm um, glad to see you again. <laughs> so thanks, That's no problem. It's nice joining you guys. Thanks right. for coming on again. Um, Demi, what are you vaping on? At the moment, I'm vaping at the Mechman mop from Rinko with the armadillo on top at 0 0.13 ohm at 105 watts and the liquid I'm vaping it is Pennywise normally it comes in a, a in another bottle but it's Pennywise from bad uh, bad drip that's the one I'm vaping at the other one I'm vaping also from bad drips the director's cut from Nancy's Nightmare that's a, a kind of a, a Belgian waffle. And the other one is, um, what was it? A strawberry with kiwi and bubblegum. And I've got the third armadillo. And that one, the wa waffle I'm vaping at the age ago with the black armadillo. And I've got my Mount Long armadillo with, like usual, my honey rooster tobacco. And at the mantel S, so I'm using the Manto S now, like you always do. I'm using the, the Meshman, um, the tank that was on top of the, the kit from the Meshman mod, but not really a great fan of the, of the tank, so I put it on another one. And also mount along vaping, the Cito S, also from Rinko. Tell you later about it, it was fate mail. And as a small one, I was testing also a pot system from uh, Logic, from a tobacco company. But the flavor of the tobacco inside is really bad. So the device is pretty okay, but tell you later. That's what I'm vaping and I'm drinking golden power for energy. Voila, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> what are you vaping on? Well, uh, I did a review today um, on the <clears throat> the normal Torin um, RDA, not the Solo though, because I well I did one on the Solo. I didn't like it that much, but this guy's got a very similar build deck to the Torin RTA, which I really liked. And then I was using this for three, four days, and I thought it absolutely worthy. So it's sitting on the the VT seventy five D for a nice silver setter. I was also using the Ultim Drone Squonker today. But uh, I actually managed to get an older drone so I can replace that Ultim door with this black one, which I think is much nicer. And it uh, does not have that squeaking sound. And then obviously, as usual, my go-to setup, the Torin RTA with the Manto S. And then uh, I've also got the Torin Mix because I was uh, testing juices today with the Goon, the brass Goon on top of that. And last but not least, I was also playing around with my project Subum Triad um, just to see because uh, recently Jay Hayes actually posted a, a, um, can I say be a comparison between this Triad and the other one. But we all know they're exactly the same. It's just the aesthetics that, that differ. But he was complaining about his sticker, which actually came loose. So that's why I was playing around with this guy. But what I'm vaping on is there's a local juice um, called Anarchy, which is a mango ice, which I also used today in my review. And I've got a banana vanilla pudding, which I'm using inside of my Torin Mech. And then I've got an international juice, which I love. And this is the, um, it's a melon. It's called Mike Melon from Combat. I actually enjoy it so much. I just bought a few extras as well before they don't stock them in South Africa anymore. But it's a fantastic melon. And that's that, lads. So it's a Torin evening for me, basically. <laughs> Sunday creations. And I'm using... Alpha Zip Kit for Vapu with the matte tank on top and it's got cherry mental in it. 
again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My usual setup: the uh, VK530 with the Solemn 3 on top, and it's got my frozen pond. What was there on top? The Solemn 3. Oh, Solemn 3. Yeah, I still want that one. <laughs> <laughs> also using Pickle Squeeze 2 with Elder Dragon, and that has got. remember now stinking no. <laughs> oh that's got lemon in it from the guys at the king's custard but it's king's cream range and it's a lemon uh, top side armadillo nice <laughs> and that has got the frozen pond in it and the drag two with the free marks firework two and i'm still trying to finish off this bottle Psychic bunny thorn. Yeah, that's a big bottle, that. Yeah. <laughs> Seems <laughs> like it. Man. Um, listen, Mark, do you have any problems with that Vupu battery door of yours? That it actually doesn't sit on that tight. On the drug too? No, 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 the previous one, the first one which you showed. What was the first mod? The Alpha Zip. Oh, uh, uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that one. A, your battery door is that secure? Because it have got that little rattle on it. It moves a wee bit, not much. I can hear, don't lie. Yeah, I can hear a rattle. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's not actually moving that much. Yeah. Uh, you can hardly uh, see it. But the Meshman also has a a little rattle. <laughs> the drug too is bad. And your your top side, you still you still got no problems with your top side as well. No, still working uh, fine. Not uh, a yeah, single mine, mine coil. As well. But I see this guy starting to pick up uh, electronic problems with these guys, especially the dual. I'm just thankful mine's still working perfectly. I haven't got the dual. No, me neither. I, wanted... I had one, but I sold it after a week. Uh, I wanted to take one from the shop, but the day I wanted to take it myself, the customer bought it, so... <laughs> <laughs> it was faster. Okay, let's look at the chat who's there and give yeah. some shout-outs. Thanks everybody that's come in and watching us. And posting in chat, ask your questions away on either mines or dummies. Mines is English only, and dummies is any. Yeah. Wait, they're asking what about Wendy. Normally, Wendy was going to come on, but I think she ditched us. She doesn't react on anything, so <laughs> <laughs> I try to contact her for later. Okay, shout outs. First in the chat, like always, Ronnie, um, Harley, Jenny from my crew. Mike, uh, who's still there? Mike is there in my chat. Let's see. Yeah, with the laptop, it isn't that easy. <laughs> who's there? Stephen, Kevin, Mutley, Chris, um, staff. What's that? SR20 VVL. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and Christoph. Those are in my chats. In your chat are you going to say your chat mark or do i do it either or but we've got chris dummy benny yeah. <laughs> ronnie Louis, obviously and afc and john yeah it's john christian not john yeah. best not your uh, usual john no <laughs> i don't know where he is he'll be hiding somewhere or working he will come out any, any updates on your armadillo? Have you sent yeah. any? Yeah. Have you, have, have, have you sent one to Jay? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You're, you're afraid of the hammer. <laughs> yeah, I don't want no drama. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's in production now, and production, and uh, they uh, pulled up product. This yeah. first they started with a small production of only two thousand pieces, and I already said that's not enough, but. They didn't have any pre-orders at the time, but in the last week, uh, the pre-orders were coming in because uh, after the show from Shenzhen, they started pre-ordering coming in and already 5,000 are now in production and probably more starting up real soon. And they're being sent Friday to all the wholesalers. So around Monday or in the, in the beginning of next week, wholesalers will have them to send out to uh, pre-orders. So. But at the oh, moment, yeah. But at the moment, it's 
especially Chinese wholesalers who already ordered, and I don't know any UK or anything else that ordered it yet, so I still have to look for that. But they're coming in real nice. So, and uh, Monday morning, uh, I will be the first with the first batch to sell in the shop. So that will be Monday morning, uh, DHL will deliver. So from Monday, it will yeah, be- are, uh, are, you, are you allowed to mention your, your, your cut on each one or not? Because I, I watched the UK vape show the other night and, and one guy said he actually gets <clears throat> 50 cents, 50 cents for every atomizer every, which sells. Yeah, that was Vic. Then I've got more. <laughs> I've got yeah, double. Because I mean, that, that sounds very low, am my word. No, uh, uh, when I was talking before to uh, Watofo, because first it was with Kais, and there I got the deal from, I will tell you, $1 a piece. And Watofo said, that's a lot. The small companies normally never pay that much. Normally they say you get, let us say, 5 or 10% of the sales, mm -hmm. but they pull off everything from production cost and everything, and 10 to 15%. It's almost nothing, he said, uh, from uh, Leon from Watofo. And then I came to Watofo and he said, I will give you the $1 because we can do that, but uh, it's really the maximum normally we do. And now Umir also accepted it. And uh, normally next beginning of May, they're gonna send out the first payment. So it's $1 a piece. No, that's not bad. Yeah, so hopefully, uh, hopefully you sell 10,000 well, or more. Or, or. <laughs> the problem only is in Belgium, you you have to pay 33% on taxes on that, on the money you get in 33%. So yeah, but isn't that just the money that goes through your bank? Yeah. So if, if they, let us say, um, pay me 9,000 euro, I have to give 3,000 to taxes. So that's a lot of money. And as long as that, is, that it isn't 60,000, from the minute it gets 60,000 that I get in, I have to start up a company and I have to pay all the taxes and I have to uh, pay for starting up a company and everything. So then it will be expensive. <laughs> but, but there's one way how you can all go around it a bit. And that is if I um, go to an accountant and I make myself, uh, how do you say it, uh, from like a, uh, an author, a book author or an author for uh, a designer. Yeah. And if I um, let me, um, if they um, sign me in like that with the accountant, then I only pay 15% till the 60,000. And afterwards it's also 33%. So. I'm still thinking about the, the first money is going to come in just like that. But if, if it's going to go up too much, I'm going to start up yeah, a company, trying to start up a company as an author of the RDA and not as a maker of an RDA. And that would make only 15% of taxes. So it's, it's, it's finding some holes into the law <laughs> to get yeah, but I'm sure you've got, you've, got, you've got some friends who's got some friends. Yeah. <laughs> who does a bit of bookkeeping, who works at the bank, you never know. Uh, yeah, my, my shop is uh, next to an accountant, so <laughs> maybe I can, uh, and, I, and I've got the boss of my shop, eh? he's got a good accountant and he will do it for me, uh, maybe for free or for, for a small amount, so, because an accountant also costs a lot of money. Eh? I wanted to ask you last time, what is the story of those two soft toys? that stuck onto your mic boom. Those, oh, these. Those are uh, two things. This one is from my first son when he was born. It was uh, at the present you give to the people who visit the hospital. They got this one with some uh, beans with it. And this one I got from a colleague from my former work. She gave it to me just because I was sitting over around at the desk and after a few years, she gave it to me as a present. And I always kept it, and I, yeah. Since then, I hang it on my mic because I like the both of them. Just <laughs> this is my son, and this, yeah, that's a present from a colleague. I never see her again, but I still keep it. I, I like how it looks. <laughs> that's why. And I'm just like I'm say, I just a hoarder, and I keep everything, so I have to find a place for it. 
<laughs> yeah, that's dangerous. I'm starting to thin out my collection. Jeez, like it can't go on this way. Definitely not. Yeah, listen, um, you guys, yeah, no, no, you're in Be Belgium. I actually ordered my first Rebel mod, the Dual 18650, but uh, it's got a very similar shape, <clears throat> obviously to the Manto S. But yeah. I wanted, I wanted, always wanted one of them. But I paid for it the 17th of this month, and the bastards have still not posted it. And that's Esource. Esource in the UK is the only company which sells them. Yeah. And and that ticks me off a bit though. I don't I can't understand. It's a twenty eighth already. I know there was a long e weekend in between, but so I thought maybe you guys have had experience with either this company. No, I've never dealt no. with them at all. No, have no, you no, tried no. emailing them again? And I never no, I, I have, but they probably responded to one of the ten emails which I sent. And they hmm. promised it would have been, been posted this week, which is passed, but obviously nothing. That's so, why I never buy, I never order online. No, never. Yeah, for the shop, but for myself. But personally, I never order online. I want to see what I'm buying. I only oh, use so trusted nice. sites. And it's forbidden in Belgium, so. It's always a gamble in Belgium if you order online. <laughs> always the gamble will they seize it will they will they let it through will they give you a fine and I, I'm not taking that risk well I'm releasing my first juice in a, a few weeks yeah and I'm very excited about that my peach fruity obviously with a different label but yeah this guy's gonna hit the, the shops nice that's good oh, I, no. I want to try that <laughs> <laughs> Peach apricot iced tea. Peach iced tea. Sounds peach good. Apricot, peach apricot, yeah. yeah. I like peach. So sounds good. Oh, it's, it's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> but any case, yeah, I'm looking and, forward to that. Uh, they're going to be sold everywhere or only in South Africa? Well, it, uh, no, no, well, I mean, only South Africa. Because, I mean, uh, it's just, I um, uh, only let, uh, had about 40 bottles made. So it's uh, basically a situation of me going to the shops with samples, Letting them test it. Hopefully, they order a few and get it dispersed, and then slowly but surely, it will spread. Okay. But I'm very confident with this specific one because I mean I've got about 24 recipes of my own which I make and vape. But I mean this one, mm, it's, it's going to do it. It's going to do it. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Now I'm curious. I want to taste. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can send you the recipe. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can make it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it, it would be a little bit too expensive to send over one bottle from South Africa to Belgium. <laughs> I think it's going to be an expensive yeah, yeah. It is, yeah. Because, I mean, I had the option to actually get that thing speed courier, that Rebel, from, from eSource, and, and they actually asked me 56 euros. Oh, my. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's a lot. Or it could be pounds as well, but Jesus, that was, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's even, in Belgium, if I sent one bottle of juice to... A follower or anything, it's six euros ninety to send one bottle, uh, and that's and just in Belgium. If I send it to Holland, it's seventeen euros. But that's speed. No, no speed. Just normal post. Normal post. <laughs> yeah, you got some expensive stamps over there. <laughs> yeah, and it takes two to three days till they get it. So. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. That's about a hundred rand, which is uh, which is actually fine. But that speed services, then you know at least the guys are going to get it there. Yeah. See over <laughs> here, it's not that bad. It's only what four pound forty-five, four fifty, for up to four two kilos. Four oh, yeah, pound that's fifty. The as, as the same as in Belgium, six no, ninety, four fifty. Um, first class signed for, which is usually next day. Oh, signed so, for. So, if yes. I want to send it signed for, it's ten euros ninety. Ah. In Belgium, huh? within Belgium. So, so what do you guys do for coils? Do you at least have some Belgium coil makers? Yeah, yeah, we have Belgium coil makers, but uh, I mostly the time use Coilology coils. Just, mm. I've got a lot of them in my shop. So, but we we have I think ten or fifteen coil builders in Belgium, good coil builders, and I've got last week a coil builder sent me some coils. Uh, but I think he's from Holland, Mad Dog, and he sent it me uh, some frame staple, some frame stapled cores, some alien cores, and some um, staggered, stapled staggered fused Claptons. But I still have to try them. 
and that's the coils that I use. I get them from Fastec, pack of two for about eight dollars, so that's like 20 coils. They're okay. Now we've got a lot of excellent coil makers down here in South Africa. Oh my word, we actually spoiled, spoiled rotten. Every province has got decent coil makers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but in yeah. Belgium also, there, there are a lot of men, a, a lot of good coil makers in Belgium there that make very nice aliens because I tried it once to make aliens, but Kills Clapton's okay, but aliens, nah, not my thing. <laughs> I've still yeah, tried to make coils. It's just, it's <laughs> easy to make aliens, it's just effort. Um, coring and decoring and, and that, that portion and make, to make sure that you've got a nice smooth surf, surface for your decor though. But I mean, it's not it's not difficult making making aliens, but it's a, it's a mission, put it that way. I so I'd it. rather let other guys make it. <laughs> it, it always goes wrong when I'm, I'm starting to wrap it around to, to, to the three uh, cores. Uh, after one, two or three centimeters, it's always, oh, I fuck up. <laughs> so, <laughs> I really gave up. I tried mm -hmm. uh, 50 times, I think, and uh, I gave up. I, if I make my own calls, it's just use Clapton's. Yeah, but Demi, you you look like an impatient person. Mm -hmm. I'm sure your draw was too fast. I'm sure of that. Because <laughs> uh, if you mess up within the first five or ten seconds, then obviously you're running the thing too fast. <laughs> <laughs> you start yeah. off slow and then you ease it into. It's like making love, Demi. You start off slow. <laughs> and then you end with a bang. You understand? Yeah. Over yeah. here we've got a few good coil makers, but the coils are too dear for me. Cause yeah. I, I if I'm so. testing an RDA or an RTA, you're talking maybe changing coils three times or more within a week. There was one I used three sets of coils in one day. <laughs> and you're Jeez. talking seven, eight pounds per set of coils. That's cheap. No, cheese with like us, a man, I mean. With us they ask 20. 20 euro for a set of coils, 15 to 20 euro. The coils that are in here is three months old. Three months old. <laughs> three months old, yeah. All That's right. a quality of coils which you can actually get. I mean, I've got a, the coil which is inside the Hadley is a frame staple which I made myself and it's four months old. All so right. yeah, if you use decent wire, but I mean, I order most of my wire from, from Lightning, Lightning, what's it, Lightning Vapes from America or um, from Canada. So those wires are very, very good. That's, I should maybe try good. some and just use it after I've reviewed it. Can okay, like the Solom 3. I've already done the review for it, so I could yeah. probably get them and try them and see how long Yeah, you just got to gotta clean your coils often, just dry burn them. I mean, every time it's you basically going to gonna re-weak re that. Um, just dry burn them and, and clean them underneath the basin. Let the cold water run over the hot coils and then boom, you're ready to go again. Yeah, I usually do that after I've reviewed it. I'll but keep the same last coil. a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, I mostly use my coils around a month, one month or, or so for the coils, and then I start using it, uh, and then I change them. But it depends on the juice you're using, because when I'm using the the macchiato coffee with the icing that I'm now it's it's uh, all empty, but the, that I'm <laughs> last of the uh, last time I was uh, using. If I do that, if I only vape that, my coils are really black in three days. I have to yeah. clean up my coils every three days, and after a week or two, the coils are really gone. It's 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 a uh -huh. mess, then. <laughs> Frozen that ponds like that. Every two days after have to re because uh -huh. there's that much sweetener in it. There's a lot oh. of sweetener then. Yeah. I'll actually show you the wire which I use. I mean, this is the the wire which I actually got from. Um, Canada, but I mean it's, it's 28 gauge, 200. It's my favorite wire, um, which I use is 28 gauge, 250 foot spool this, and then you get what nice. What's nice about it is you get 317 um, L stainless steel wire, which is a thousand foot, and this is a 30, 38 gauge. So I mean these wires make brilliant, and then obviously ribbons if I make frame staples. Otherwise, 36 for 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 aliens. No, that's cool. Awesome stuff, man. No, I've sort of tried make coils myself. Uh, that's I always, common. <laughs> I always use, I, I, I made it my own, own, co own coils a year ago, but now I don't have the time anymore to, I, I don't have the time and the patience anymore to uh. make my own coils. 
I just done it here too. Yeah, but it's now because I'm I'm trying to only be here upstairs three days in a week. So it's it's really planning, and that's also why I didn't post any review this week, because I really didn't have the time to post any review. I'm going to try before Expo post one, but I'm not sure of it. But after Expo, it's going to be busy, so... But Timmy, you, you should actually wait till Black Friday and order from Lightning Vapes a huge amount of wire and sell it in your shop. Yeah, but... You'll be surprised how many people look for wire. Because we've got that problem in South Africa. Yeah, There's we've got a lot wire, of people. We've got wire in the shop from Wireworks, but in Belgium, actually, it's only a, a small amount of the vapors make their own calls, a small amount. And act, even, I think it's 80% who vapes with small amount of long devices, and only 20% of the vapors vape with a bigger device. And from that 20%, maybe 5% um, uses um, rebuildables. So in Belgium, it's only three, four shops in the whole country yeah. who really sell to hardcore vapors. And my shop is more, I've got some hardcore vapors, but not a lot. The most of, I think 90% of my shop runs on small kind vapors, so on, on pot devices and on a just for Q16. Or that, that's, a, that, that's sold the most in my shop, a just for Q16. Yeah, I, I almost thought you said just fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I that's what I heard, but I, I reckon I know it's just fog. Just fog. Yeah. But what what in, what in your shop sells the most? Just fog Q sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I sell the most. I think I sell seven hundred a year from those devices and other ones maybe ten or fifteen. So it, it's really a big difference. And so the pump systems. Yeah. Oh, now the pot system, like the Hexa, is selling really good. This guy, this guy should actually sell good in your shop. That's the Smok Nord. I I don't sell anything from Smok. Nothing in the shop. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big Smok fan, but uh, I like no. this guy. Smok is banned. <laughs> right, can I just say hi to the Vaping Computer guy and Jay Jara, who's coming to chat? Hi, Bob. And. Um, he asked me if I'm going to UK. Yeah, Mutley, I'm going to the expo. Yeah. <laughs> Are you all set to go, though, Dummy? Hmm? Are you set to go? You got all your batteries charged, or your tanks no, you're not, taking, no, your mods? No, no. no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I'm starting tomorrow. <laughs> I've started. I'm charging my new batteries at the moment. I don't have new batteries, so... <laughs> well, i got 10 sets, so they're getting no. charged just now. I've got my camera batteries on charge. Hopefully, you can see that. Are you guys going together? No, no. no. <laughs> we meet each other there, but not even in the same hotel again. <laughs> That's your problem, then. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's gonna cost me a lot of money for taxi. Uh, I think it was a fiver when I was in that hotel to go around. Uh, a fiver? Yeah. yeah. That's okay. It was because from the Arden to the premium, it's a little bit too much of a walk for me. Even from the <laughs> Arden to the Expo, it's too far walking. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I've still got the card because I got a business card off the driver because the hotel have a deal with the uh, taxi company. Yeah. So you get a set rate. But it's I can't Tom find from it. Radio Exact. Good evening, Tom. How art thou? All the way from Netherlands. Mm. There you go, Dana. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I've got the car too. Yeah. Well, you mm. get £5 to Expo with him to the hotel oh. and back. Oh, that's not bad. That's good. Uh, yeah, because so, I have to count in how much money I have to take. So you guys <laughs> going as reviewers to get the VIP badge or not? We've got a press badge. Yeah, yes. already got press passes. Um, I got two sent to me, two codes, but I've only used one. Yeah, me too. I also got two sent to me, and I asked some people if they wanted to go with me, but nobody had time, so <laughs> I only used one. <laughs> yeah, I'm only using the one. Yeah, me too. Yeah, because I heard there's a lot of guys which actually um, present themselves as reviewers just to get free stuff. Yeah. So they're actually thinking of um, having a, a subscriber 
count that you have to have a certain amount of subscribers no. to actually get what they done this year uh, the last last year they didn't bother just gave to anybody this year they've asked you for all your social media so your like your youtube your facebook pages uh, websites etc to check to make sure you are who you say you are okay so you have to be a reviewer this time to get a press pass I or send, be with I, I even had to send two mails they 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 send the mail back also to to uh, send through my uh, my social media and after i send it that they send it one back and to ask me um how much fuels and and they, they just asked me the, several questions and i had to answer that mail and then they send it me the press pass so for me it wasn't that easy <laughs> but this is your first press pass isn't it yeah that's my first but before i went with the vip pass but it's yes. six, 60 uh, pounds so it's the first, and now i'm wondering can we can with the press pass can you go in on thursday with the build-up or still they, waiting on a reply back from them oh well, or backstage or anything <laughs> Apparently they can go anywhere. Tommy wants the specials. Um, yeah, <laughs> I want privileges. <laughs> Clean out the bosses. Last yeah. year on uh, Saturday Sunday we got an arrow to get video footage of everybody coming in. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take my camera also, my big camera. Well, I'm taking both my Canon and my Panasonic. Yeah, me too. I've got my gimbal set up now to run the camera. I just can't focus with it. <laughs> which is a pain <laughs> because it means I then have to hold the camera and focus manually or zoom uh-huh. manually I should say it auto focuses um, you yeah, must take some decent videos I'd like to see the footage um, absolutely yeah. last year I, I took two less of pictures or the, anything I, I had a small video from it but it was actually nothing this year I'm going to try one day to make real footage with the big camera and I've got my Sony handy cam with me still have to find a charger for that but <laughs> <laughs> I know it's somewhere around here but <laughs> still have um, to find it but I'll have my laptop with me anyway because I've done that the last two times yeah me too so I, I can take, take everything off the SD card and put on the laptop so I've got an empty SD card or me I'll have two I, I take my laptop also my small one mm. just for that to at the end of the day i can take the pictures from the camera and put them on the laptop and i've got more room to video so now i quickly want to ask you guys a question each um what do you do with your cotton before you actually wick is this something specifically which you guys do or you just take the cotton break off a piece and just take the cotton. The coil? Just i take use the i use that stuff the puff oh my god Squares. Oh my god Puffs. Puffs. Oh my God! That's Dutch. That's cotton they use for women. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's not organic. Organic pads. It's yeah. like um, moji cotton. <laughs> no, because I, I, I'm asking you because there's a way which I always do it, and and there was a guy today which actually came by and saw me, and um, he never did it um, the same way. Now what I normally do is. Where now I've got a 2.5 millimeter or 3 millimeter diameter coil, you know exactly how much to pull off from this. But then what I do is, is I, I put it on my hand and then I, I roll it like that. And he ne- he's never seen that before. And oh. then he started doing it well as well. And um, it just delivers great results. So it you guys depend- maybe try that. It depends on which cotton I use. If I use organic cotton in a patch, I, I pull it open and I roll it on a Scottish roll. If I use, um, now I'm using for the moment because they sponsored our crew. I'm using the, I uh, can't know if you can see it, the Valhalla cotton. But that's, you don't have to do anything with it. It's, it's a ball like this, but it's really soft, really <laughs> soft. And I just cut off a little piece because you can't pull it off, it's too strong. Oh. I've got it now. <laughs> Normally it's too strong. <laughs> it was the end of it. Just take two pieces like this, just a little bit push on it, and put it through. And it it works really great. I'm I'm really excited about this cotton actually. Yeah. And, and otherwise I use boss device cotton, but also no. Also I don't have to do anything with it. Just cut it off. Take the piece I need. 
and pull it through. Because I mean, if you if you actually notice your cotton actually thins out when using, and that's why I actually just condense it to counter counter that. And it, hey, that's awesome. No. But Mark, you have to clean these pads. You have to peel off those things. Yeah, I have to take a layer off each side. Yeah, yeah, like so, and just bend them because they're too hard to use. You can if you spread it out, but I don't. I just take them off. Um, some people actually cut it before they pull it off. I just find it's easier to pull it off and then cut it. So I've taken the two edges off. So yeah. those up the middle to give me two. And yeah. then I do it again up the middle. Like so. And all I do is put it so it's rolled up a wee bit. Don't squash it too much, just so it's sort of close together, the ends anyway, and then grab one end, pinch, twist, and that's it ready to go into a coil. Scottish roll. <laughs> <laughs> but I always do the cutting at the same time, so if I need a strip of cotton, I've got one ready, usually. And do you guys notice a huge difference between the different types of cotton? Yeah, there's a lot of difference. A I don't lot know. Of difference. That's all I use. I don't <laughs> use any other. I've got some. But, but, but there is a, because of there you is use those things. <laughs> I have... Isn't there a cotton which comes with every atomizer which you're using? No, I don't no. use the cotton or the coils. I have a brand new tin of that, a cotton. Now, don't I've never they used it. You guys are? Cotton bacon prime? Yeah, we get that over here. There's still the coils in it as well. <laughs> <laughs> but oh that's word. why you have to change your cotton every two days because you're using the puff. I, I, I tried that too, and it's yeah, it was also like that every two days. No. With, the, with the Valhalla cotton, with this cotton I can do much longer, and also normally I use this one. No, no, uh, oh, this one, buzz device. Oh my God, <laughs> don't know <laughs> if you can see it. Yes. Buzz device cotton. And it comes like uh, the cotton bacon. So, and just pull it pretty soft. And this cotton, if I use my, my bad coffee uh, liquids, I do with this, with the buzz device, I do a day or three. And with this Valhalla, I do a day or five with the same juice. I'll put this in what, what one of my tanks and try it then and see with the frozen pond yeah yeah that's from asfake yes what is the first cotton which you actually showed um demi is that the thick stuff it looks like wool this yeah the valhalla cotton the, the wool i just showed the really really soft wool it, it really feels like wool actually but is, the is most that the of one the which you, is that the one which you showed which you said is strong too strong to break yeah that one okay all right <laughs> and also and sometimes i use swag cotton the swag premium cotton it's also a, a really good cotton i think it's it, it's it goes a long time but it's really strong really strong cotton so that's also one uh, i'm using regularly but i've got so much different cottons here i've got a whole box full of different cottons i tried them all in my videos and a lot of cotton is crap <laughs> a lot of cotton they sell is crap so um i'm thinking well, i'll try that bella hello i'll see if they actually have it here in south africa i yeah. doubt it i've not I'll... seen anyone use it no i'm gonna take a cotton wait a second i'm gonna take one probably it's from <laughs> belgium it's really good cotton i'm gonna take it wait a second i'm gonna <laughs> disappear <laughs> I went from silica mm -hmm. and my funds to that uh, puff stuff just because mm -hmm. I go through it so much the re and everything I say I probably probably re -wick every um, once every two weeks yeah but even the stuff I'm testing if I want to move the coil I have to take the cotton out move the coil and re to reposition it and then put the cotton back in 
Ah. Yeah, yeah, Mike, but they don't, yeah, I just checked. They don't sell Valhalla in South Africa, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate. But I'd love to give that a try, eh? Try the, um... Well, I've heard that cotton baiting is good. I've never used one it of, personally. One of the, probably the most well-known vapors here in South Africa is a guy called Rob Fisher. And the guy has got a huge collection of awesome mods. And he just, um, well, a while back, he actually brought in that cotton which Jay Hayes uses, which is a fairly old cotton. I mean, I think it's been available for, for four or five years. But apparently that is very, very good. But they also don't sell it in South Africa. I just want to see what this I'm name back. is. My bag. <laughs> All right. All my cottons. Wait. So the swag I was talking about. Really good cotton also. Uh, mm -hmm. Where's the other? Oh, this one. Do you know this one? Silkwick. Uh-uh. That's from a Belgian um, uh, um, aroma company. And they make pads like this. And in a, it's not just cotton. It's cotton with a little bit of silk in it. Really good cotton, but really expensive. The, the small box like this is 12 euros, I think, for a small box with only seven patches. Yeah, seven patches in it. But really good cotton but too expensive for my part, but... And the other one I'm using also... Ah, oh, there's a cotton's name. Basically. One, sometimes I used this one, but not really impressed. The jack cotton, those are really small parts of... with a, a lace in, in, a, in, in, a, in front of it. And the one you... No, that's not it. Where's that one? Gee, this Jimmy, one that's a cotton Ma Maviton X. That's the cotton JJ uses, which it says very good. Yeah, and vape lace also pretty good. Got this from the expo, but this is crappy cotton. <laughs> Muscle <laughs> cotton, really crappy. If you, it's also like this. But when you pull it, it's really weak. You don't have to put any force on it and it breaks. Yeah. Now, I've never had an issue with this cotton making prime. I, I really like it. Yeah, I, I most of Very the nice. if I use that one, I'm, I use now the uh, cotton making prime. The, mm. the one came afterwards. Uh, I really like that one too. And, oh, yeah, cotton making prime is uh, nice. Another crappy cotton. Thorns cotton. Speed Why don't you just turn this stuff away? Why do you keep all it? I'm keeping it all. And if, if someone <laughs> comes here and has problems with thing, with uh, getting cotton or has money problems, I give it to them. And so, you give them the crappy cotton and keep the good ones for yourself. <laughs> no, no, no. I give some cotton. And let them, this comes, the crappy cotton comes in a little bowl. And you can... And, no, the never was to near freezing. Oh. <laughs> since the me son started now playing some online games. games. Yeah. See yeah. that last cotton demo it came in a row. What is it? What? <laughs> last cotton in a row. Speed so points cut. Yeah. Because you sort of frozen us. That's a bold statement. <laughs> Speed for vape, <laughs> am I word. Yeah. Another crappy cotton, de demon killer cotton. Yeah, no, they, they, uh, <laughs> in the begin in the beginning, I always use this one. Wicker bear, wicker beast. I really like that one in the beginning, but it's good for RDAs, but it's not good for RTAs because it it doesn't uh, soak up the juice fast enough for an RTA. It's good if you drip on it, but. Not for art. The AFC Womble and Jurgen Andries both use cotton bacon prime. Now, see, they understand now. So does where, you where Jared? Is that? They understand. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah Tom, Tom Radiexact asks, will soon start making own calls. Do I have any tips? 
um, yeah, Tom Demas, watch that videos of mine. I've got a lot of Daedalus videos, but uh, that's if you want to make some Claptons or you want to make some framed staples. The Daedalus tool actually works extremely well. But get yourself decent wire from the beginning, not these cheap Chinese stuff which are giveaway for free. Um, try and try and get yourself order yourself some quality wire from from Lightning Vapes or any reputable um, wire dealer, and then drill and decent swivels. Some people don't even use swivels. Swivels they've got a pipe with some just a nice pipe, and they let their wires free hang mm -hmm. freely in it and rotate. But uh, you're gonna get your own. Uh, specific <laughs> style uh, to make I, your own coils. I always make my coils with with hand and not with the Daedalus because I always have problems the 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 thing that goes be, to the be, uh, goes back it always tucks and I've got some wire uh, over each other so my, I, I can't it's find any portion yeah that piece it always yeah. gets stuck with me it's always and I, it, it never goes smoothly over the whole wire it's always some places it gets stuck and it doesn't matter which table i use it always gets stuck it's so, weird yeah yeah i never use that anymore well, I a, always... a lot of the people that comment on my videos has got the same problem that you have but yeah. then there's yeah. another, the other half which is like me we just don't have any issues but one thing which i don't like is this draw portion of them yeah. that that is very weak bits which i've got in the front over there so they actually bend quickly and too this slow. sucks a bit and it's too slow. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. Well, once you leave it over there, you can go and come back a half an hour later. <laughs> yeah, but that's the problem with me. It's always getting stuck, and the wire goes wrapping over each other. So I have always have to stay with it to keep an eye on it. And it's going so slow. And I always use my own my own drill, and I do it with with yeah. hand. The only thing I use from the Daedalus. Is a little swivel on the back to, to hold the wire. That's the only thing and, I use. Yeah, but the guide, the guides are also awesome. There's nothing wrong with the guides. They're small little yeah. metal guides to actually keep your wires in place, your core wires. That's very nice. Um, especially the Daedalus 2 version because their guides have got wider slits than the version yeah. 1. Yeah, so it's nice of you. to make uh, mm. yeah, for, for a more wires uh, next to each other. Yeah. But I mean, I had my own printed out. Now see these little guys I I designed and then I uh, got a guy to actually make me make me a CAD file, but I mean there there's my small small guides which I actually make, and they different ones different colors for 26 gauge 24 gauge and 28 gauge. We've got so you don't want to use four or five of these little guys to keep everything together. It works like a charm, very nice. We've got one we've got one somebody in Belgium who has a little started a little company um, gadget 3D, and he makes it with his 3D printer. He makes yeah, uh, yeah. The, the, the wire uh, holder on the back. It's a, uh, how it's called? How is it called again? The coil beast. It's a little piece. He started with that, and now he made those coil uh, things to, to hold the wires. Uh, and he, uh. he made a clamp for in your drill to hold three or four wires next to each other. And yeah, he's making great things. Also, build stands and everything. I'll have to get the STL really, off him. Really great thing. Well, um, I'll have to try and get the STL files off them for them, so I can do I my was, own. I was, I will, uh, I will keep bring him in contact with you, but he <laughs> won't. Give, but he won't give it probably. <laughs> well, but you must, must actually send send me his link. I mean, maybe I can order order from him. Yeah, I I will do that. I will send this link. Uh, I will look it up. Wait, maybe I can do it now at the same time. Huh? No, because yeah, your computer will crash. If you wait, you will never do it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I'm going to look it up now. See, on my lap. I can't see the chat. But it's it's a fantastic it's a fantastic feeling once you've made your first <laughs> set of coils, built your own yeah. atomizer, and and vaped on your own. Um, your production, um, it's stunning. It's it's a great feeling. I, I love my own. Uh, Fuse Clapton's also when I made them myself. I also always made 40 or 50 sets of uh, Fuse Clapton's and I used them myself. People tried them in the shop and I sold them in the shop. Um, three pairs? No, two pairs. Yeah, two pairs, of course, for 10 euro. 
Fields Clapton's from my own, and people were uh, still asking about it, but <laughs> oh, I have to make some time for it. And maybe I can do it downstairs, but the problem is if you work with a big drill, it makes a lot of noise if you do it uh, besides the TV. <laughs> and, uh... But Timmy, but, don't you find it weird? If, if you've got, say, 326 gauge cores, and you yeah. clapped in it, or you take the same 326 gauge cords, of course, and you alien it. Don't you notice that there's a flavor difference? With it, it's just, I'm talking about the same claptoning or aliening gauge. It's just yeah. weird that just that shape of the alien makes yeah. a difference. Yeah, the, an alien, I think because it's not straight, but a little bit to the side every time, yeah, the juice flows better through it, I think. Yeah, it's as if it disperses the juice in more different directions than what straight yeah. claptoning is. Yeah. But it, I, I, never, hope... I never thought it's going to make a difference, but it does. Yeah, I always surprised too when I when I sometimes so the coil builders they ask me to to review their coils and they send me a, a few sets of aliens. I'm always surprised how what difference it makes, but. When I'm using course myself, actually, I never use aliens. I always use fused Claptons, frame Claptons, or stapled Claptons. I don't know why, because yeah, one, it's cheaper to get, <laughs> and, and and I'm and I'm using that di much different devices, and I and I reread that much that I always buy, uh, always get uh, the course that they sell in ten in, in a box fabric made yeah. cores because handmade cores it's, it's getting too expensive I, I can take my cores from the shop and my there boss he, doesn't he goes, there he goes yeah. again yeah <laughs> it's got a cloud yeah. above his house <laughs> <laughs> now i'm back i think yes <laughs> yeah now the, the thing is if uh if i had, I had to use handmade cores it would start to be too expensive. All the all the things I test with handmade cores, that, that would be a fortune. So I, I, I only use handmade cores when when a core builder sends them to me, and then I use them to for a review, and I use them some weeks after, and then yeah, it's over again. See, my <laughs> problem is I've been I've been spoiled a bit though by the local coil builders. So I mean, all my recent videos, I either use a normal Alien 26 gauge or or Nano Aliens which is 28 gauge with uh, either 36 or 38. And I mean, I prefer the nano aliens. They, to me, produce the best flavor. I, the problem I think with a lot of coil builders in Belgium is they all build their coils really low. I like my coils around 0 0.14, 15, 16, between 50, 0 0.15 and two, yeah. 0 0.2. That's where yeah. I like my coils. Mm, but most of the here. time, the handmade cores I get from coil builders are all around 0 0.1, 0 0.09, or lower mm -hmm. even. Mm -hmm. And I think that's too low for me. Those... Yeah, but then you must start using nano aliens because they normally come in at around 0 0.15, 0 0.16. See, that's too low for me. I'm about 0 0.34, 0 0.3 to 0 0.4. Yeah, then, then, you, then you must start with your, clap, uh, your, your normal clap. <laughs> Yeah, but you vape on a really low wattage. Huh? Yes. Yeah. So um, I only vape low wattage well above from fifty. Uh, um, so, you, so, so, Mark, you actually prefer a bit of, of MTL action? Yes, or, I prefer a restricted direct, lung. direct one. Um, yeah, but then, then you must then you must get this little guy for you. I just cause the airflow down. The normal Toran RDA, not the solar. Get this one, the the older version. Yeah. It's very, very good um, when it comes to um, restricted direct lung, and it gives you fantastic flavor, and it's cheap as well. Did, did you see the review for the armadillo from uh, vaping with Fig? What they yes. told about it was a really nice review. Huh? Yes, really Which one? nice. Yeah? A lot of people already contacted me about it, so that he was really positive about <laughs> it. <laughs> Especially What's this now? It was especially a surprise from the flavor, and he said with the airflow, because I made it a little bit smaller than the the goon, a little bit tighter. He said it's a, it's a little restricted airflow, but every time he pulls on it, so oh, the flavor! 
oh, <laughs> like that every time he pulled on it. So it really was a great review. Really, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hug him on the expo. Really, <laughs> but Demi is a good RDA. Yeah, that's the thing. I I hope that, but it's always a risk of what other reviewers are going to say. Like Vic, yeah, uh, vaping Vic. He wasn't that positive. Okay, at the end of the review, he said, okay, o- overall, it's a good RDA, but in his review, he, he pointed out a, l- a lot of points he didn't like about it. And, and always he said, yeah, it, it's nothing special or anything. And if you hear the <laughs> review of vaping with Fitch, it's, it's special. It's, a, it's an, a, an evolution of a deck and it really was really good. On it. Yeah, but if you watch Vaping Vic V1CK, yeah. Yeah. He gets stuff in and he pumps a review three, four days after getting it. He doesn't test no, it for a week. No, his review was really fast also. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah, he doesn't test it for that one. Mis- mis- I think a mistake a lot of the reviewers actually make is is they don't consider the price point of the, the hardware. Because you've got to review it in relation to what it actually costs. Yeah, but that's the thing. I mean, if if you look at what you're going to pay for the armadillo and what you actually get for the armadillo, there's nothing wrong. It's bang for buck. Because I mean, you can do a variety of pulls on it, different positionings on it. Airflow is more than sufficient, gives you good flavour. So you can't. It's only those screws which, as I say, which is very soft on mine. Mine too. The, I I, I yeah. told them before production from the screws. I told them before, and I actually I wanted the the post holes a little bit bigger. But they wanted to use the screws from the from the Wasp RDA that they can recover those screws, yeah. and that's why the the holes are this wide. But I was actually surprised that uh, Vic gets uh, used the same holes for the both sides. He puts two coilex in one hole, and he has a little bit of a struggle with it, but it worked. So mm. I was actually surprised why he did that. Yeah. But Right, now Jim VV's asking, Demi, did you watch Grim Green's vlog? No. <laughs> he bought your armadillo. You'll have to go and watch it then. Uh, yeah, because he has the armadillo and he was going to make a review, but I didn't hear him yet. Now, Demi's going to he's gonna end the live show earlier now to go and watch. <laughs> <laughs> got, Hi, my phone, got my phone here. <laughs> I can watch it on the phone. Did you watch Green Green's vlog? You pissed all over the armadillo. All right, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tom, yeah, Tom, you can. Yeah. I've, I've got an enormous amount of videos. Um, you can go and watch that, Tom. It will keep you busy a long time. <laughs> Have you guys also had the problem which I've got with YouTube now, where they actually started um, devoiding my videos with the most views? No. Huh? I'm not. I yeah, don't have. They demonetized um, eighty thousand view videos of mine, and there's no reason um, which they actually could say for doing it. I think they're doing it with a lot of reviewers because Vic me Vic said that he's got has demonetized as well. But only the videos with a huge amount, with ten thousand plus views, they demonetized. It's ridiculous. Uh... Sneaky bastards. <laughs> I don't have that yet because I'm still <laughs> trying to get to my thousand to put it back on. I did have it when I first started the channel, but then they brought that rule on me. You had to have a thousand yeah. subscribers and X amount of views before you could get the monetization. I've got the same problem. And I don't I, have I, that. I still need 300 viewing hours a year. I've got my thousand subs, but I don't have 4,000 viewing uh, hours a year. Now, if, so, if you guys want to get quick views, then start reviewing pods. There's a <laughs> lot of people into pods. Because that, that, that video which I did on the Just Fog mini fit, how, for how to rebuild it, that one's yeah. got more than 60,000 views. That's a lot. So, I mean, if you can <laughs> do any pod or something related to pods, you'll get a lot of views. The, no. the most views I've got on a, on a review I made on how to make uh, e-juice. That's my most viewed video. I think 4,000 or 5,000 5, views. But that's how to make e, uh, e-liquids. And I explain them how do you do it. And that's my most viewed video. My most viewed vid- video is a top full tank 
for the sub tank. Twenty four thousand uh-huh. views for it. Right. Just so for a top I'm, for the sub tank. I'm like I'm just listening to Grim Green for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Mark. I told you. He's gonna he's gonna grab the bottle soon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know it's 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 weird um, these these old view things because I mean I've never earned anything from YouTube, and I've put out 230 videos. The only time which you really stand a chance of earning something is when you've got at least I would say 10,000 subscribers, and every second or third day at least post a video. Yeah. Then you might start reaching that hundred dollar mark, but otherwise, nah. I'm still trying to get to my thousand sub. Hopefully, I should get it before the end of the year. Um, yeah, we've got a bottle of champagne ready for 5,000 subs. <laughs> it's not going to take that long, though. And I think it's standing at 4,843 at the moment, which I think for a, for a local, it's it's awesome. Because, um, I mean, as I said, vaping in South Africa is not, not that big. Um, or the support for it, it's not necessarily that big. But uh, I'm getting there slowly but surely. <laughs> I think 80% of my subscribers are, are inter- internationals. Yeah, I don't know where all means are. Um, but I don't push for subs that much because I'm don't want all the hassle that all the other UK reviewers are getting. Um, I just don't want that. <laughs> now it's just nice to see that for me it's an indication of people that you reach. Because I mean you'll you'll notice I don't ask for subscribers because um, I want people to subscribe on their own accord, and then at least you know you've got people that likes what you've got and they will actually view your videos if you post it and that's yeah. nice that mean that means means a lot more to me but i mean i've never gone into it in any case to make money though i was actually surprised when i got my first patron i mean gee was i i, I was happy <laughs> and now i've got 14 patrons already so i'm good i've it's got man. i've got four patrons but the money rate. from patreon i'm not getting because I'm going to buy a kit or something, whatever they want, review it and give it away to one of them as an additional yeah, see, my, my giveaway. Problem is, 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 Sorry, is guys, I've got... give, me, give me a second. I'm going to. I really want to know what he's saying. At the end, it's looking good, but I really want to know. I'm right back. Listen, <laughs> me and Mark never missed you. Then we didn't know nah. you on the show. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> man. You can get it. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah. Um, so, so my problem is I can't I can't give away stuff to my international patrons because it's too expensive. So what I do is I, I, I work my ass off to get some nice decent recipes or juices, and I post the recipes that those beads which I actually showed you I posted them the CAD file as well, so they can actually take that and get their own little um, guides printed there if they want to start building. So that I've got available for them, but I mean there's not a lot I can offer except for things like that. But giveaways. Is normally to the to the local South African um, um, patrons. Yeah, on Patreon you can actually do a giveaway unless you're giving every single member a gift. I see, that's the thing. Yeah. So that's you have to well. class it as a sale, and you make them pay for the postage, which means that they're paying the postage cost for this item. So as a class as a sale. Listen, Mark. Tell me quickly what you think of this plan of mine. Now the first juice which I actually brought out uh, my design has got the letter K on it okay and nice 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 and then my second one I'm gonna obviously have the letter Z and then later O and later R so I want to bring out four profiles in the course of a few months and then I want to launch a competition for guys which actually have got these four bottles next to one another that spell out Kazor and the first 10 I'm gonna put in a lucky draw and pick one of them and give them a 3,000 Rand mod as a prize. Don't you think that's a nice marketing strategy? Um, yeah, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> but giving away a three grand mod, well, that depends how much it is over here. Um, yeah, but, no, yeah. I'll, I'll do that then. Because, I mean, I, I, I actually enjoy g- giving away stuff. I like it. Um, so I've got no problem saving up and giving that mod to somebody because I mean if you got guys which are actually going to buy all four of your bottles to get that name that's quite a few bottles which people actually need to buy 
to do that though because i mean the 3000 rand mod's going to draw some entries and what they actually the money which you make on those juice you can actually use for the mod yeah i suppose I it think. is that but it is a good you, promotion what do you guys do in chat it? think about it do you think it's going to work or am i too ambitious <laughs> Hi Graham, hi Tom, I don't know if you've been on before. Is Chunk Meister, Jim Vivi has joined? Yeah, Chunk. Um, Holly. Chunk is a person that runs the UK, I'm going to get this wrong. Oh, what is it called? I can't I'd get it wrong. UK Vape Hub? Is it UK Vape Hub? Yeah, on Chunk Facebook. Meister. The um, the thing is, that these are all profiles which which um, sell very well. Because, um, I mean, I sell out of my house. Um, I mean, it's profiles like this, which is the, the peach apricot tea. There's only one which I know is available currently in South Africa. And this one definitely kicks its ass. The other one is a pineapple mango. You know, I've, I mean, I've got a variety of different fruits. And there's a pear and lychee one as well. So these are all fruits. So the people who enjoy fruits will probably like them. Hopefully they like it. So yeah, so it's, um, can I say, as I said, they are really selling. So it's not that I'm expecting them to, to actually like those flavors. They are really liked by a lot of people. <laughs> it's just not sold out of shops yet, but they sell out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a UK Vape Hub on Facebook. That's what Chunk runs. He did take over UK Vape Network. I don't know if you've heard of that. It was like uh, it was for reviewers to do shows on in one central place. So you'd have loads of different reviewers doing shows at different times of the night or day throughout the full week to yeah, give them some views. There's, there's three or four other different shows exactly on the same time. Yeah, there's a couple on at the same time as us. I'm back. Um, we originally started your show on a Friday, but we didn't have these kids on a Friday. Sometimes it was hard, so we changed it to the Sunday, and oh. then I got to tell that there's about four different shows on. Yeah, there's a lot of different shows. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, in the, but there's probably shouldn't be a problem in the week though. What about Wednesday evenings? Um, it All depends right. what time I, I finish work at, because Dimmy's an hour ahead of me, so okay. at, at the moment it's what, quarter past eight here, so it's quarter past nine at Dimmy's. Yeah, me and yeah. Dimmy's time is exactly the same. Yeah, so you're an hour in front of me. Yeah. Sometimes Dimmy, I'll... what did the guy say? But, but uh, in South Africa, do you change the, hour, the, the clock uh, in winter time and summer time? <laughs> No, eh? no, I thought so because <laughs> no, but no, no because I I knew when I was there in winter or in summer the, it was an hour difference and now it's the same so <laughs> we changed the clock. <laughs> you, you don't, know. You, and we no, didn't we, have to change our clocks. <laughs> we, we have to change our clocks twice a year. Yeah, and neither are the lions walking around my house. <laughs> I actually went to, went over to Canada for two weeks, um, um, visited a family over there. And um, when the small town uh, heard that I was a teacher, they actually invited me to come and speak to the kids about South Africa and the culture. And it's, it's amazing uh, the lack of knowledge overseas people actually have of South Africa. Because when I asked the kids for questions, whether they wanted questions or, or, or providing the opportunity for some questions, the first question which I got was have I ever been bitten by a lion? And the second question which I got is how much do you pay for a crocodile in a pet shop? <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought that people actually think we live in a, in a wilderness. <laughs> it's crazy. For me, that's yeah, different. I, I've been there twice in South Africa and my ex-wife worked there for a year. So South Africa mm. is a little bit in my blood. So the, my, my ex, my ex family, they they they've got family there, and I've got a lot of friends in South Africa, all in Yo in Johannesburg, Durban, all around in Pax. Uh, uh, I'm I'm really good friends with uh, the brothers of charity. They uh, who works in South Africa, and so South Africa actually, I always said South Africa is my second country. If I if I move from Belgium, I 
I, I would love to come live in South Africa. And with my ex-wife, it was actually, we tried to, to move to South Africa, but the problem was I didn't have no, di uh, no um, diploma from school and I couldn't prove uh, I wouldn't take uh, a job from a, ba a black man because I didn't have any, uh, any um, graduation. Uh, I probably would take a job someone else in South Africa could do. And that's why I couldn't come there. And I needed to bring in that time 12 million Belgian francs with me. So I had to take a lot of money in, but I couldn't take it out anymore. That, wow. that, was, that, that were the restrictions to come and live in South Africa. And the problem was my, my ex-wife could come, but I couldn't come with her. So that's yeah, why it's a, it's a be a beautiful country, but the crime is horrendous at the moment. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, uh, the country is being governed down to to a, a rubbish heap at the moment. Yeah, oh, and that's sad. That's sad. 10, 15 years ago, it was also like that. When we went to uh, to Johannesburg, the center, we, we went everywhere. Also to uh, the Mandela prison in York, Joburg. We went there with some black people because they, they all said, as white people, you can't walk around there. If you go alone, you you probably will be robbed of everything. So we smack, went there. smack and rape your ass, yeah. boy. <laughs> <laughs> we went there with some, with some black guys and he just parked his car on uh, the sidewalk and we we why don't you park at uh, the parking place no no he says i park at the side at the, at, the, at the sidewalk because if they see my car there they think i'm a gangster and they leave it alone if i park it on the parking space they will wrap my tires and everything yeah. so he just yeah. in the middle <laughs> of the street he put his car there and yeah just leave it there he said and we went to the to the, the the prison, came back, car is still there, and we in in the drive home. We were with seven people in just a, a little sedan, and at the at the at the at the highway, there was a, 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 a how you a traffic jam, but he was driving 150 kilometers an hour, and. He saw it too late, there was a traffic jam, so he started braking and at the side of the road, we went straight onto a, a, a traffic pole, but a wooden traffic pole, wow. straight over it, car was totally lost, but he had to go before cops came. So we called somebody from the family, they came with a, a tow truck, he, they towed us to his garage before cops came because when cops would come, he didn't have no license or anything. We were with seven people in the <laughs> car, and the only one with a license was my ex-wife. So, oh my it was, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 South Africa is really, uh, and in in um, Nelspruit, uh -huh. we, we we went from jo Joburg to Nelspruit, and we came there. We went out with uh, with the locals there to a bar, and we were just saying to each other. Now we feel safe against Joe Burke. This is safe. You can walk on the street. This is nice. At night, there, there was a burglary into the house next door, and they started shooting and everything, and they came into <laughs> the little place where we, we were sleeping. But because we, we woke up, and we saw somebody coming into our little, um, yeah, a little room where we slept, actually. There was a garage built to the room. <coughs> we saw somebody came in. Shut up, Hilafo. But I, I, um, I, I looked at him, he, start, he, he, ran, he ran away, and afterwards we heard shots. Mm -hmm. And then we came out of the room, and in a minute, there were 20, 30 people on the street, all with guns in their hands. And the only thing the, the, the neighbor said, as long as they're white with a gun, it's no problem. <laughs> that was oh, it. So, now, yeah. I, will, I will never forget the story. There was a guy which did a charity ride from the top of Africa all the way to the bottom. And I mean, he, he went through all the South African countries and uh, when he came down in Cape Town, somebody stole his bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to the end of his journey, yeah, they steal his bike. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah, Chunk's asking, have you ever bitten a lion? No, 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 I've only been bitten <laughs> by mosquitoes and spiders, but not, not a lion. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, I mean, there are some stupid people in South Africa which have been bitten by lions, but those people can visit game reserves and they actually get out of their cars to yeah. go and take photos. Oh, yeah, that people just don't understand. Yeah. 
<laughs> but it's, mo- it's more internationals which come here, which, yeah. which that actually happened to. Ever yeah, since the have no idea how wild it is. <laughs> in Kruger Park too, we, we were uh, next to a, a lion eating a giraffe and protecting his, his prey with all the, the vultures around it in the trees. And actually people get out of their car to oh, max one meter or two meters from the line and start taking pictures. Oh, really, really. Really. They really think, then the only thing I can think of then is I hope the line takes them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Really. Yeah. 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 That is yeah. stupid. And then what did Grim say? Did he have good what? news for you? What did Grim say about your oh, Grim? Oh, it was okay. He, 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 he took the armadillo in his flock and he said, Whoa, what's this? An RDA and he did it up. Whoa, this is a really strange deck and he started talking about the deck and a little bit with a laugh but actually <laughs> he was excited probably he was going to test it tonight in his uh, evening vlog just normally this tonight there will be another vlog with building the armadillo and testing him so it, it was okay he laughed with it but it wasn't he didn't say anything bad from it so it was it was okay that's not too bad so, no it wasn't that yeah. bad so, so and, and I, when i when i mail with him he actually is a really nice guy so i'm pretty confident he, he wouldn't break it off too much <laughs> yeah see i've actually eaten a lion bar not just bitten it <laughs> eaten it nah. <laughs> nah. i eat crocodile in South Africa, and I eat uh, every other animal. <laughs> now we've got a always... chocolate biscuit thing that's called a lime bar. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> now, cro- crocodile actually tastes a lot like chicken. Yeah, yeah, only with a lot of bone in it. Yeah, well, we see, we had, we had the, the tail portion, which actually cuts very nice yeah. into steaks. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's I, nice, but it's white meat. I, I ate it in hamburger crocodile hamburger and I ate it in a, in a piece of white meat but there were a, a lot of small bones in it yeah. so it's not so easy to eat actually well, I, li- I like bism oh really and uh, what the, what's the other thing about bison that huge buffalo in um, yeah. America okay, yeah, okay. really love that one and in South Africa yeah the ostrich ostrich meat is really great it's very uh, red yeah, I really love red meat, so that's uh, and what I did. I, oh, I ate so much in South Africa because when I went to South Africa the two months I was there, I, I wasn't there just like any tourist with a tourist bus and all the tourist places. Uh-huh. But I really, every time I stayed with the locals, I, I stayed on a farm. I, we 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 went through South. That we saw the Kruger, we saw the the uh, tourist things. But we also saw every normal local thing, and that was the thing that caught my heart. Not the tourist things, because tourist things everybody can see, but yeah. mixing in with the locals and see how they live, and that, that that's where I lost my heart with South Africa, because all the locals and everything, if you, yeah, if you get connected with the locals on a d- d- different level than just the tourists, you got to know South Africa much better, and that's why I'm in love with South Africa. So did, did you at least get to eat some bultong? Yeah, the dry, of course. The dried meat. I, Very yeah, nice. I, I ate it all the way. Every time <laughs> we were on the road, we were eating bultong. It's really and <clears throat> bultong with some sweet chili on it and everything. Really yeah. nice. And and I, and I almost think we're the only country that's probably got that. The other guys are, have got beef jerky, which probably comes the closest yeah. to something they, similar. They, they sell it also in Belgium, some dried meat, but nowhere it's so good as in South Africa. In South yeah. Africa, it's really, really good. They, they really know how to do it. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I'm, that's something I miss, actually. Uh, now, you say, now you say it, now I'm thinking it again. Damn, I want some Bilton. <laughs> Maybe you yeah, can both. make one package with some Bilton in it and with your juice, and yeah, then it makes up the price for sending it. <laughs> That's an idea. Demi, <laughs> check my chart because Jim VV I'm... spoke to you. Oh, watch more of the vlog. You build it on camera and it was really bad. Oh, damn. I have to look more, he says. Yeah, <laughs> after the show. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I stay here now. I've got a block open here. I'm, I'm going to see where he's starting to build it. Maybe I can show you. <laughs> yeah, remember, everybody, you can actually post questions in the chat. I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm not as dumb it isn't, but I am. I, so if I you am put it in English, <laughs> I will try and catch it. Just so that we can give you some feedback or information you, that you want. What do you guys think of that new S Modus audio? Which the people are raving about. The um the what's it point blank? Not got it. Any of you have, have not received it yet? No. no. I'd have to no, buy it. Yeah, no, I also <laughs> have to buy it. I've never been sent anything by as motors in any case. So. Oh. Chris um, is saying in my chat his second home country is Germany. I would, I'm just reading my chat. Uh, yeah, because you speak non-English in your chat. Uh, <laughs> and in Germany they were all looking strange because of their vaping, but <laughs> Germany actually has a big vaping society. Oh, and in in uh, Diepenbeek in Belgium, there's a restaurant where you can eat snake, crocodile, ostrich, and you know the road. And what's that? Uh, no, I, well, green really can't build on the armadillo. <laughs> okay. And now hey, I Tom really says, <laughs> that Tom Tom's right. They, I think there is something dummy didn't taste in South Africa is babuti. Babuti uh, is that? Uh, I think I yeah, it's babuti. It's a, it's a type of it's a type of mince mince dish which they serve on on rice. Yeah, babuti, but it's, it's 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 like curry mince. I I I, t I, I tasted it. I think babuti. I, I I yeah, I think I tasted it. It's yeah. over, almost fifty years ago, but yeah. <laughs> and also uh, the 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 things uh, the the poor eat the poor black. How it's called the uh, the maize or. How it's called? The, yeah, the... yeah, you a, a maize putty pop. Yeah, yeah, I also ate that. Yeah, but it's very nice. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. We normally have it with with um, sausage and a bit of um, onion and 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 um, um, tomato uh, smur. I don't know what's a smur, but I mean it's yeah. a nice sauce. But it, it's very nice. Yeah, I like it too, actually. Putty pop, like a pop of horse. Lekker man. <laughs> Lekker man. <laughs> yeah. Lekker man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it. Holly says Talk some more, Talk Holly, some more I did, African. Holly, I did, I did say your name, yeah. Holly is very surprised that I mentioned his name. Oh, buddy, that's nice. He also said, like, of course, he's a very nice. Hey, Mark, I lost him there. He's got no idea what I just said. <laughs> yeah. He just smiles. So who's tried the Asmodus Blanca, dear? Because Jim Jim's saying... Jim says he has, yeah. Yeah, it's okay, but too much airflow for single coil. I've not tried it yet, so I couldn't tell you. Any use? No. Anyone in the chat try the Torin audio yet? Because, I mean, I was very surprised with this. These are probably the two best... Um, the Thunder Creation products for me, this. But I must say the mech, the mech doesn't disappoint. And what I like about it is that the button is fixed. There's zero rattle on this guy and it's a 21700. Awesome. So how do you, when you have contact on it? I, yeah, I've got a problem switch. with the contact of the button of the torrent. I put mm. it out, uh, yeah, it always gets stuck and it, it keeps firing. So I yeah, never they, use but it they must, But they must revise it, you know that. They yeah. put a new one out. Yeah, it's oh, a yeah. totally new switch. Yeah, because the switch was with uh, the four pieces that's with a small ball that's... Mm. Yeah, it's, it's and, a different yeah. one. So uh, how do you then, clean the contacts on the switch? Or how do you clean the switch itself? If it's fixed in place? Well, I mean, you can clean anything with a Sonic. Wait, I mean, I'm going to ask something at Jim. Jim? No, usually I makes a clean contacts by hand. Alright, so it does come out. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm going to ask something yeah, yeah. on Jim. Jim, um, at uh, oh, oh, just, okay, it's okay, I found it. Okay, <laughs> I see. Oh my God, how is he building on it? <laughs> I, I really had to send a review, some reviewers uh, a, a a video with how to build the armadillo. I think, 
Some of them <laughs> really. How can a oh. reviewer not know how to build the armadillo? The yeah. reviewer should be able to build any atomizer. I think so too. But some review, if I see so, even Jay Hayes, if you see Jay Hayes building, sometimes and they got the, the ball fixed in there, and then they've got this section with a spring on the inside. Oh, that looks no, much better. Yeah, the, the little ball is fixed now. That's. I yeah. thought you, when you said it was fixed that you couldn't take it to bits like that, can't take switch out. Oh, yeah, I thought the battery can... fed from the top. But I mean, it's not loose anymore. That, that's what I mean. Yeah. They fixed that problem. Yeah. Right. The ball was loose, and every time I, put, I, I pushed the, the, the switch, it, it keeps firing, and it doesn't uh, let go anymore. So mm. I never use it. It's, it's a nice one to go to the collection, and that's it. <laughs> okay. no, mine's, mine's good as gold. Watching a second to uh, how green, gr Grim Green fucks up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope he comes to he comes to burning him. Nah, he won't. No, no. Nah. With the bogan, with bogan, I, I already had a have an appointment. So yeah, bogan will be there. Um, Mike yeah. Vapes will probably be there. And Mike, Mike Vape, yeah. That's the, and, the only. I think the two. whole UK vape shows they accept um, TVP. No, TVP is gone now. Is he going now? Yes. Yeah. Because Sunday evening he was still not going. Yeah, he said. Um, Wednesday, when was Wednesday's show? Wednesday, no, Thursday, Thursday. Thursday evening. Yesterday yeah. posted on Facebook saying that he was gone. I'm going to ask uh, Bob from last week, uh, vaping computer guy, to uh, send something to Mike Faves because I really want to talk to him. I really want Mike <laughs> Faves also uh, reviewing the armadillo, but he didn't answer my mails. And last year in October, he promised me he was going to review it. So I want to talk to Mike. And Bob is a good friend, so <laughs> a little bit of pressure. <laughs> but if I remember, Am Ambitions also did a decent um, review on the on the yeah. order. He, he still has to review it, uh, Ambition. Okay. He didn't. Re it's still Graham Green still has to do it. Uh, vaping Bogan and the Ambition Vapor. Those three still have to make the review. The only three didn't do it yet. But Vaping Bogan told me he was in the beginning already when I when I asked him he told it he was doing it half of May after the expo because he was traveling around and they had some other stuff lying and he was going to the UK first and then he was going to review it. So uh -huh. that's good because I can meet him in in the UK, talk about it and everything, so that's not so bad. Now Grim Green just used it in the vlog, but you know, I, I hope he still reviews it a little bit nice. And then Ambition, I don't know when he's going to do it. I have to ask him. Well, I'm just glad that I'm the first guy that actually did it. I pioneered the, the armadillo for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And got a lot of views already too, huh? On, a, on the video. Yeah, I've got Umi seven. Says there, yeah, <laughs> Umi says... Umer is complaining that 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 there aren't two uh, enough views on the on the reviews, and they're complaining that I'm not making enough pictures of it or pictures they can use. But uh, they want me to do the whole promotion, so and I don't I don't wanna <laughs> <laughs> don't have the time to do that. I still have another job too. <laughs> yeah, I've not taken no photos of it because. I didn't have time to at work. I used to have time to take a photo of handshake and that. I didn't have that now. So, uh, I didn't have yeah, that. My problem is I'm just too lazy lately. Because before I was also <laughs> doing all builds in the shop already during the hours, but now I'm uh, even that is too much. So, I, I really yeah, my, need my... the expo to get um, get started again. Actually, I really. It's also my contacts are all so quiet at the moment. It's really time to go to the expo and talk to everybody in person again and get things going again. And it makes me a little bit of, uh, it makes me a little bit depressed that it's all going so slow at the moment. So I really need a kickstart and the expo will do that, I hope. Well, and I'm I mean, going to drink a lot, the so best. watch out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Mark's gonna have to watch out because I'm gonna drink a lot. 
<laughs> Listen, guys, I've got to go and sign out now. I've still got some marking to do, believe it or not. It's My grade 12 right. tests. Thank you for I'm coming in. That. Yeah, it's a pleasure, it's mine. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. you're gonna always, yeah. always just give me a call then. We can talk about Budavors again and some Biltong and Bokoms and all the, the, <laughs> all the right. little chow available. <laughs> Cheers, guys. All Have right. a good evening. Bye. Right. Thanks again. Bye. 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 Just Yo, bye. Thanks. Cheers, all the viewers. <laughs> so just mean you know the man. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a quieter show now. <laughs> 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 Um, Chunk, I'm going to be there from Thursday about 1 o'clock until Monday, probably about 10 before I leave oh. to come back. I'm there from... Uh, so um, hour to I'm so hour. Around, around, what was it? 7.30, 8, 8.30, I think. I, th I arrive at the airport at 8 or 9.30. Then you have to wait till I get can get in the hotel. But I'm gonna drop my my uh, my luggage in the hotel, and I'm I don't know what I'm going to do then <laughs> until three because I can't go get in the room at three. But I think I'm just dropping my my luggage into the hotel, and I'm trying to get into the expo already on Thursday. See if we if we can go in with the build up, and I'm also going to contact tomorrow Umir if they can't get me into the expo on Thursday to actually help them build up or something <laughs> <laughs> because my RDAs will be sold there so maybe that's a an extra to get in earlier mm -hmm. I would like to have a, a, a small video of the building up of the expo so I'm going to try to get in Thursday then I think Thursday night I'm going to take an, a quiet night, an early sleep, and then Friday, go early to uh, go early to the expo, hang around the expo whole day, and then Friday night I'm going coming to the hotel with you. I'm going after the expo, going to the hotel where you're staying, and we're going to <laughs> drink a lot. I'm sure of that. <laughs> And, and when I'm wasted, I talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have vodka and probably apple sours. Vodka? Yes. Mm. And yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. Everything is good. As long as, it bring, <laughs> as, long as there, there's alcohol in it, it's okay for me. I'll also <laughs> have the apple sours at the expo itself. Uh, yeah, I can't take anything. I, I don't know. I just... Um, um, obviously, I just uh, put an extra luggage into the for taking on the plane. I just paid for it today, <laughs> a big luggage. So I've got my hand luggage, a suitcase around the a small suitcase, and I've got a really big one, almost empty. No, nothing in it, just to put everything in it when I'm coming back. So. <laughs> I expect a lot of free stuff. <laughs> it's going to be three days of begging. <laughs> I'm not that bad. It's, I think it's going to mainly be pods or some that sir. I'm not going to purchase anything this year. I'm only going to beg and hope for free stuff. <laughs> my my uh, the, the the money and all the money I'm taking, I'm, go I'm going to need for the cap. And I'm going to need for food and drink. And I'm not going to buy anything at the expo, I think. Or it has to be really <laughs> cheap. Or I'm going to try that they give me everything for free. It's going to be <laughs> <easy>. <laughs> I hope my uh, business cards are ready uh, against uh, against the expo. Because they still aren't. I asked my boss and he was, he said, yeah, they're ready. He said, no, they aren't ready. They aren't here. Oh, oh. Damn, I, oh, I, I will ask them, but I don't know if they're going to be ready <laughs> against third day. So I hope they're ready or, or, or I don't have any business cards. Well, I've still got business cards from the last expos. Yeah, my problem is my, not my, all my business cards from me, from the YouTube and Instagram and everything from myself are all, I've got nothing left. And I've got business cards still from the wholesale and from the shop. The shop I can still use. 
but the business cards from the wholesaler I can't use anymore because my phone number changed. Ah. So that's the problem. Nah. Uh, right. For anybody that is going to Expo next weekend, make sure you wear comfortable shoes. Take your own food and drink with you because paying the prices inside there costs a fortune. Literally. <laughs> um, <laughs> they will pro you'll probably pay pro twice as much as what you normally pay um, including water. I think it's about two fifty three pounds for a bottle of water. Yeah, I'm a I'm going with the plane, so I can't take anything with me, or I have to take it in my suitcase. But but the lucky thing is, that I used staying in the hotel where the petrol station's around the corner, which you can go and get from, and it won't be as dear as what will, will be an expo. Oh, okay. How do you think of everything, you? <laughs> because I do. Because <laughs> that's what I done the first time I went. When I was Last year in I was hotel. in a good hotel. Last year was I was in the hotel with the casino on top and with with the, in the shopping center with the shops and everything. That was a good hotel, but it was really expensive. It was also last minute in October, the last week before Expo. <laughs> I, <laughs> I booked the hotel, but uh, I, I like I, actually I like the Arden and Leisure Hotel. It's it's now the fourth time I think I'm I'm going there starting to know everybody there from people from the staff and knowing my way in the hotel the only thing that's that's uh, that's not so good is that you have to take the cab to the expo because the walk is too much for me yeah Maybe. i walked it the first morning on the friday and after uh, that i just got taxis me um, too we tried it also once you should too. come to the premier um, it's around the corner from it. it's walking distance yeah, no. Last year I, I walked a, a, a small piece to you, to you, to a hotel with you. I know where it is, but <laughs> the problem was the on the, the website where I booked everything. It's a really cheap website, and the Premier Inn wasn't there. No, Premier so Inn. You have to I, book direct with them themselves. They are uh, not on any of the sites, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Other things yeah. that you have to remember if you're going to Expo. Take. Yeah. Batteries, lots of extra batteries, just Always. in case you need them. Take some cotton coils, loads of juice, and the cotton and coil if you're using RDA, RTAs, etc. Um, Always. Take <laughs> juice, just in case you can't get the juice that you want, while you're there. Always. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Comfortable okay. shoes, because you'll be walking a lot. Yeah. The thing is, I'm going to take less than other yeah, other times to the expo normally i take a, a mud or 10 or something and five or six rdas and some tanks and everything i just i think i'm just going to take three mods with me and yeah maybe two rd my three armadillo rdas a pot system and i think that's it i'm not going to take too much with me because uh I'm not, I'm taking, it'll have to be the, 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 this, the Smoan Squonka mod, just because I it takes 18650s, Joe, because I that's what I'm, I'm taking. I think I'm also going to take the Battlestar with me, with one armadillo on it, the black armadillo in Squonk on the, on the Battlestar, and then one normal on I don't know which mod I'm going to use yet, but one on a normal mod, and then one in uh, Mount Along, the Mount Along uh, armadillo I'm taking, and I take my Orion, and I think still, I think I think I'm going to. You're take still a taking all what then? You're still what? taking all what? Yeah, I'm still five, five, three big mods and two small, I think. I'm going to use the mods I'm oh. taking will be all dual 18650 batteries. So I'll have this. Oh, wait. yeah. I'm thinking I'm about the drag 2 with the mat tank on top. Yeah. To give me a stock coil. So if something does happen, I can change it quickly. No hassles. Well, um, yeah. And I'll obviously have the VK530. I don't know if I'm going to have the Solum 2. Or the Zeus X. It's a 50 50 mm -hmm. one I take. Maybe I take, I'm also going to take the Freemax, I think, as tank. Which, and I'll have uh, my MyPod for in the hotel. 
Uh, there I've got my Orion, and I'm going to take the Cito SE because I, prob I really like it, actually. Oh, yeah. I was going to tell you about my vape mail this week. Right. I got some vape mail. Yeah. A T-shirt from Rinku <laughs> with my mesh man. Oh, I'll, I will show the box. That's easiest. With the mesh man kit from Rinku and a new pot system, the C2 SE. It, the pot system is actually something very similar to uh, the Exceed from, uh, was it Joytech? Joytech Exceed. It really, it's a little bit smaller, but it, it vapes similar, actually. <laughs> I never got no vape mill. Um, I am going to try and pick up one of the Metman mods, though, if I can. Uh, I asked uh, through uh, Vape Family, the, the Facebook page, Vape Family, the, from Rinku. I yeah. asked Nicole. I, I asked Nicole if they could, if she could send me one, the mesh man. I, I just sent her a message and I said, "Oh, you've got a new mesh man. It looks like a nice mod. Could I review it?" And she immediately said, "Oh yeah, I forgot you." And she sent me <laughs> one one mod and she also sent me the seat with it without saying and a t-shirt. It's a little bit of a small t-shirt, but a t-shirt is a t-shirt. So. <laughs> I never wear t-shirts. Like I've got. RFG t-shirt, still in his bag. Mm. Uh, I mm. always, in the shop, I always wear a, a commercial t-shirt. Always. What size is this? 3XL. 3XL, <laughs> okay, I'm swimming I'm, in that. I must say I'm a 3XL. I uh, don't think so. <laughs> um, but I've also before, got their black one as well. Still in his bag. Yeah. And I can't see what size that is. It'll probably be about the same. Uh, the, the amount of t-shirts I've got with a uh, commercial on it, my wife gets crazy from it. My whole closet is full of of t-shirts from uh, vape stuff. <laughs> I think I've got 40 or 50 t-shirts with vape commercial on it. The black one's not too bad, that's just an XL. It'll fit me. Excel. Last lately, I, I uh, in, in the past I always wear wear XL, but lately I take large or even medium because I like my t-shirts a little bit tight, a little bit. I know how you mean baggy. I've always wore baggy t-shirts, mm -hmm. but not in the three XL baggy. <laughs> no, but in the past I also always wear my t-shirt pretty long uh, over my pants and pretty wide, but. Well, lately the large is the, the, the biggest because it, it fits, it, it sits, yeah, fits around my body and I like <laughs> it more like that now. I've also yeah. got more in the wardrobe because I've got uh, Vaptio, who else is there? There's quite a few that I got in the early days and mm -hmm. I just didn't wear them. The same no. with the uh, baseball caps. I wear, I've got a lot of baseball caps but I don't wear them. I, no. I I put them on the closet and everything because I always wear my hat, never a baseball cap. <laughs> yeah. But I'm um, in the shop. Ninety-nine percent of the time, I'm wearing a T-shirt with some vape commercial on it. Just it's, it's my work gear. <laughs> I change <laughs> every day. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna read the chat again, eh? Because you always say I don't read. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. Especially on yours. Let's go first by. I have to go up a little bit because I'm uh, a wee bit behind on yours. Yeah. <laughs> the armadillo is really easy to build. Pretty piece of cake. Yeah, I know. Excellent stuff is also delicious. Haggis. Buddha was no they're fast. Yeah, that's what easy to everybody said it's easy to build and then Grim Green said it's difficult to build, so I can uh, <laughs> I don't understand that one. He can't get photos with all the panel and Umi. He can't put photos on the page of Umi Runny. No, it, it, that's, that's normal, Runny. You can't post on Umi. If you post it, it goes through. Uh, you have to ask uh, the administrator of, uh, of the Facebook page, and then they will post it. And, and the administrator is Jessica. So just speak to Jessica <laughs> about it. Um, uh, 
they posted a lot of Instagram day at the expo. Um, Harley says, I hope you both have an amazing day at the expo. Of course, we're going to have an amazing <laughs> day. We're going to have amazing three days. Yes. How do you disturb your, how you distribute your RDA? Umia is just a small business and Vape can also have problems with that. Yeah, I know. Vape, Vape Fagin did all his commercial and all, all his promotions for the, the book art here really isn't that good in it. So that's the problem with me. I have to find all the wholesales and everything. And as a small reviewer, it's difficult to get contact with the, all the wholesales. So that's a little bit of a problem. I have to hope for uh, other reviewers to, to promote it with me and and hope the wholesales will pick it up. And Vape Fanagan has a uh, Mark, Mark Vapes with a uh, with him to help him so it's a little bit easier for him but umir isn't that helpful in promotion actually it's a great company or it's nice people but um commercial wise not the most <laughs> uh, i'm not going to say it everything because maybe they look after <laughs> they see the, <laughs> the live afterwards um, I right, guys, if you have got questions, put them in chat because the show is about to finish. Not long to go. Oh, oh, and uh, Har Harley says you go into the expo in Paris. I was there, Harley, uh, Jenny. I was there um, last year or the, no, the year before in Paris. It's a really small show. It's really crowded, really small, and you can hardly talk to anyone. I know the vendor, so I'm not going to Paris again. It's, it's it's too crowded for me. It's a too small venue. Uh, for my uh, big person. <laughs> and uh, oh, you can read. Kevin Van Hout says it's a shirt for my dad. Your XXL. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my wife says, yeah, you have two two closets full of, <laughs> of t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm busy on Instagram. Oh, and my and they they're talking about armadillo. And Ronnie says he's busy on Instagram with for my armadillo now. So that's my <laughs> chat. Nothing more. That you have to know. <laughs> no, there's not much on mine. Jim saying let Umer work for the money, not you, yeah. dummy. Yeah, I know Jim, but. That's the problem. Umir doesn't work for the money. Umir wants me to work for my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm doing my best, but I can't do everything. Chunk Masters is also coming to uh, the expo. Yes. All right. You'll find that most UK reviewers will be at it. Yeah, we'll be that with everybody. So the I'm big reviewers to, to the small reviewers. I'm going to hang with everybody at the expo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, I still need to give my <laughs> hug to uh, Jules and, and I'm going to hug Vic for his nice review. So <laughs> he, he has to watch out. He even mentioned you eh, in the review. Yes. He got the <laughs> night wrong for the show though. <laughs> yeah, I know, but okay. <laughs> well, what am off yet? <laughs> <laughs> but he mentioned mm. you. Yes. <laughs> That's something. That is. I'm apparently going on a show after Expo. I don't know when. I'm going to try also to ask uh, Vic if I can come on the UK vape show once, but I'm not from the UK because I don't know if he's going to do that. Um, but... I don't know. I think it does take people in from other countries, and I think and I'm not 100% then... sure, but you'd have to ask. Yeah, uh, we're going to ask on the Expo, and we're going to ask him to come on our show too. Uh, <laughs> gonna ask everybody huh? we're gonna make yes. a, a a big list on the expo everybody fills in his name uh, besides a date <laughs> <laughs> and signs it besides it so we have proof and we have a contract they're gonna come on <laughs> <laughs> not like today Wendy <laughs> we will be having a Chuck Meister on at some point he's already said that he would come on yep. Yeah, Vaping Bogan also said he's going, going to come on after the expo one day, so in, at the expo I will ask him again. 
we're gonna have some good guests i'm sure of that yeah <laughs> mama jules will adopt us all <laughs> harley says mama jules will adopt us all everybody loves mama J mama yeah. jules <laughs> jules takes care yeah. of everybody at expo yeah she's the mama yes <laughs> um, even in october she did for me so there is usually jules and gail gail's not gone no no oh. um the last one gail was up was may expo last year Mm. I'm, I'm going to try and come every time to the UK. I'm trying. Yeah? But, <laughs> well, I really love the expo. I, mean, you can meet, uh, I can meet everybody there. and It's yeah, it's different. Like the Shenzhen Expo was nice and I met every, every company's bosses and everything, but it's not the same like getting together with all the reviewers. It's well, that's the main thing for us reviewers, is to go to Expo to meet up, because it's what, twice a year we usually all gather and meet, and that's it. If there's not a show on, we don't meet, we don't have a, like a, some place to meet in the middle, apart from an Expo. <laughs> because if you think yeah. about it, you've got people at the bottom of England and people in Scotland, which is hundreds of miles apart. Yes, it's, it's even the same in Belgium. I've got a belt in the vape crew. We're from a, all around of Flanders. And even then it's difficult to meet up with everybody from the crew together at one place because everybody has work and everybody has things to do. And for one date that everybody can come together, it's even that's a, a problem. And Belgium isn't that big. Yeah. <laughs> but no. Uh, the expo's the best time for us to all meet each other. For me also, eh? for to meet every like like meet where where else can you meet Bogan, and and have a relaxed talk with him, face to face. So yeah. <clears throat> I, I I'm going to have a Belgian drink with with the Bogan. <laughs> I'm sure of that. Last year when I'm, when we met up and we started talking, we really had to go to the loo, <laughs> really urgently, and he, he, he ran away to the toilet. So now I'm going to catch him with the hair and I'm going to say, you're going to drink a Belgian beer with me. <laughs> what you do is you find the hotel he's in and you go to the hotel. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, this week... I have to. Prepare. I'm not going to record a video, this uh, a review before Expo anymore. Everything is going to be after Expo, I think. And this week is going to be all in making myself ready to go to Expo and looking everything that I've got everything. And I still have to work out some things, <laughs> even how I'm go going to get to the to the to the airport. So. It's not gonna be easy. No, AFC. I would recommend probably Sunday will be your quietest day. Um, but then you get all the free hunters out on the Sunday yeah. as well, near the end, for yeah. companies giving stuff away. Um, but Sunday yeah. is a wee bit quieter than Saturday. I have to be early. On a, on a, I want to think Friday already. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to start begging on Friday. <laughs> yeah, but I have to meet up with some companies. I already chatted with a, a few companies that we will meet up at the show. So, well, on the Friday I'll be doing all my recording of the stalls. What's all there? Yeah. Yeah, Friday. That's what will be. Just walking about, recording everything. Um. Meeting up with some companies, obviously as you're walking past, I'll say hi. So you have to stop recording and talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> and Friday so it is takes a, Friday the, near enough for a day to record everything. Yeah, my Friday is the easiest day to talk to the companies eh, because it's only business to business. Huh? Well, business to business, VIPs. Yeah, okay. But VIP, yeah. But a lot of people... The, uh, on Saturday, it's too busy to talk to companies. It's yeah. Every year is the same. It's too busy. On every booth, there are what, 20, 30 people in front of the <laughs> booth. So <laughs> it's hard to talk then. I think Saturday, we're going to hang with in the lounge. 
a lot. <laughs> yes, Saturday I may walk around twice. Just so they can not there. Yeah. No, I, I'm I'm going to be more active this year than last year. That's for sure. Last year I was too passive. <laughs> so <laughs> this year I'm going to be more active. Uh, mm -hmm. AFC, what you better doing is parking in a hotel's car park and paying their prices. <laughs> rather AFC, than what playing going to the expos. Free stuff. Looking for the armadillo. I think uh, Umi will sell the armadillo on the expo now. So they, They've got stock, so they've got um, production, so I hope they will sell. I will ask tomorrow if they are going to sell the armadillo and I will put it on my Facebook. <laughs> yeah. uh, everybody is asking for it. You could uh, always tomorrow... pop it on my Facebook group and my page as well if you want. Yeah. Yeah, if if they if they if I hear something if they sell it, I will I will put it on both Facebook pages, and because well, what was I going to say? Oh, and tomorrow uh, the armadillo will get in, uh, will arrive in my shop. So from from tomorrow on, you can buy it in the shop, my shop. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, the only shop in Belgium <laughs> and in the world. <clears throat> but uh, Mike says, give uh, Jules a big hug from me. I'm still waiting to adopt me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see uh, uh, last week a uh, live vlog from Jules with her with the daughter? No. That uh, uh, she was asked in the in the chat uh, about the armadillo again, <laughs> and she says, "I don't have one anymore. My daughter." stole it from me and she won't give it back <laughs> and the daughter was sitting there yeah mine now <laughs> was good commercial <laughs> yeah but no um if you're going to expo and you see a reviewer and you want to speak to them and they're eating stay away from them till after they're finished eating yep only if you see me, just talk to me. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so any other reviewer apart from Demi, if you see them and they're eating, leave them to eat. Um, yeah, it's right. mainly the only time they get to themselves is when they're eating. That's true. But, yeah, I'm going to... I'm always enjoying the... <laughs> people start talking to me, so... Only when I'm filming, you have to shut up. <laughs> That's the only <laughs> time when we're filming... That's the time you have to shut up to me. When yeah, eating, that's another don't... time. If yeah. they are recording, wait till they've stopped recording before you go out and speak to them. That's <laughs> the most important thing. <laughs> or else we have to record everything twice. <laughs> no, I don't. I just stop mm -hmm. it and edit that bit out. Usually my expo it's... editing takes me three, four hours to edit it. That's without saving it and uploading it and everything. I just editing it. To take out all I the wee bits edit, here and I, there. The problem is I can't edit anything at uh, at my laptop. It takes ages. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's such an old small laptop. I can't I can't edit anything on it. Even my my program on my laptop is too old to pick up MP4. <laughs> it doesn't find MP4, so. I, everything I record with my camera, I just can put on the laptop, but I can't edit in anything till I get home. Well, that's what so I'm doing. I'm not editing nothing while I'm there. Maybe I'm, I record a, a small video at the expo live or something, or I record anything in my hotel room or something with the, my phone, or maybe with my camera, but I don't know for sure. Well, I, I'm going to see how my, how my head is going. I was thinking about doing a uh, live on Facebook using my phone. Never done it before, but I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I always do one small live part at uh, Instagram, but it disappears after a, a day. So, But I do one live at Instagram when I'm walking around. And maybe on Facebook or YouTube, maybe because I can go live on YouTube too with uh, my phone. So maybe, I, I don't know yet. It, it all depends how how I'm feeling those days. <laughs> yeah. And I hope it's better than last year, so. Of course it will be. 
Because so. I thought you were hanging about with me all day. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the intention. <laughs> so you're not going to be on your own or with your boss? Nah. No, okay, the, the boss, okay, that was, he, he was just walking behind me and he doesn't say anything then, but... I, do you mean I will t I record it and make a story if you go live on Instagram? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mike. There you go. Right, any questions before we close the show? Because that's five it's past ten. nine. Yeah, it's, it's ten o'clock, five past ten. <laughs> yeah, where you are. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Watching my phone. Anybody send me any message? Oh. What? What's that? Oh. Oh, ah, Wendy, Wendy said she, she, uh, she, we had to confirm earlier. Oh, I sent it her messages, but <laughs> <laughs> at least the exact time I can share it. Uh, next time, she will come on next time. She, she's sorry she didn't make it today. Okay. Um, I no don't know what the next day is available. I think it's the week after Expo. Then um, you got somebody, I think, eh? week after Expo. I think... It's uh, little bro. Yeah, little Aiden. bro. You yeah, you put little bro in it the week after or so. Yeah. But I will I will talk to Wendy later. I've got her now on Messenger and I've got her a friend request on Facebook, so it's easier to talk now. So. So you but can the next time I can put her in for the week after. Yeah. I will nub day from then on. <laughs> yeah, I will I will uh, talk to her later. No problem. That, that's going to be fine. And we had a guest today. It's always nice to have Xor in the show. Yeah. Really like him in the show. Okay. So And it's time to close the show, huh? Yes. No questions at all. No. So, I already say bye to everybody. Merci, mama, weer te zien. And pak allemaal al een dumper erbij. En laat het dupe kopen. En eigenlijk heb ik het aan de Mark. <laughs> to close the show. Mark, right, you're so up. Thanks everybody that's came in to both chats and chatted to us. I'd like some more questions from you though. Just to help us along in the show. Um, we can give you information. Um, we'll try and answer your questions. <laughs> if you <we> see them. <laughs> If I see them. Yeah. <laughs> if you see them in yours. Um, if you are going to Expo, please come up and say hi to both of us. We will both be there from Thursday right through to Monday. Um, obviously, we'll be at the show in three days. As I said before, if we're eating or recording, wait until we're finished and come up and say hi. Um, whatever. Shake your hand. Anything you want. And thanks for coming onto the show tonight and chatting with us. I hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs> Even people are watching the rerun of it. You did a good job again. Yeah, we didn't muck up this week. <laughs> <laughs> so, <Welcome to my. clears throat> thanks again for coming along. <laughs> there is no. no show next week because we are at Expo. Everything went fine with me also, I think. Yes. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, mine's is mucking up now. What you done? <laughs> what did you do? You had to do something. didn't do anything. You did, because mine's is mucked up. What? I didn't do right. anything. <laughs> it does matter. Um, uh, so, thanks for coming yeah. along. And... There's no show next week because we're at Expo. I don't have a vlog next week because I'm at Expo. I don't know about Demi. <laughs> he probably will have. Uh, maybe on Wednesday <laughs> I still have a vlog. A small vlog on Wednesday before the, the day before I leave. Um, I but I'm not, sure for you. I'm not sure if I'm going to have a vlog because I have to get up really early because I have to be at the airport at 4 o'clock in the morning. So <laughs> it's going to be a... A hot Wednesday night. <laughs> so, 
Bye, everybody. So, thanks for coming along. Stay safe. Good night. And see you in two weeks. Bye. Bye.